on behalf of the people of andhra pradesh and our uh, beloved chief minister sri ys jagan mohan reddy garu i thank the honorable president of india for addressing the parliament listing out the various issues achievements initiatives and priorities of the union government madam i may be allowed to speak on two issues and honorable chairman has allowed me 15 minutes i'll conclude it in 15 minutes time madam there are only two issues which i am going to address one is special category status which was assured to the state of andhra pradesh and secondly the reduction of borrowing limits to the state of andhra pradesh which is nothing but a step motherly treatment madam and opposition parties in andhra pradesh and uh, particularly telugu desam party and my friend sitting next to me ravindra kumar and also the other political parties are day in and day out criticizing ysr congress party our party for not raising the issue saying that we are not fighting for special category status which was assured to the state of andhra pradesh in this regard i would like to state that andhra pradesh C honorable cm shri ys jagan mohan reddy garu met honorable prime minister more than seven times and also honorable uh, home minister who is uh, present in the house more than 12 times and requested the honorable prime minister and also honorable uh, home minister for grant of special category status so still, They're still supporting the, still supporting the let me let me finish up <laughs> madam in the in the journal committee journal council meeting which was held recently where the honorable uh, home minister was the chairman and the uh, ap chief minister was the vice chairman the issue of special category status was raised i am answering the questions for telugu desam party madam special category status is the reason why all the opposition parties are where they are in today and ysr cp where it is now we in fact we are making our best efforts and in fact we have agitated on the floor of this house in the last last session and also stalled the uh, in fact you were about to take action on us but uh, uh, fortunately you have not taken any action for adjourn for adjourn for adjournment motion in lok sabha also madam the center has given six reasons which are totally flawed and unreasonable unjustified and untenable for not granting the special category status unfortunately my friend who is sitting this side who was sitting that side at that point of time now uh, fate is uh, such that he is sitting this time th this side who has who has who has loosely drafted ap reorganization act for which we are not responsible and because of because the act was loosely drafted with so many lacunas and anomalies and the present government is taking advantage of it and the tdp is uh, now criticizing our government and the bjp bifurcated the state B bjp has bifurcated three states bihar uttar pradesh and madhya pradesh madam did any of the re residuary states whether it's bihar up or mp lose the capital city patna is remain with remain with, remains with bihar lucknow is with the up gopal is with madhya pradesh whereas the residuary state of andhra pradesh has lost hyderabad and madam were any of the states promised special category status on the floor of rajya sabha by the then honorable prime minister of this country shri manmohan singh ji on this floor and when uh, our honorable chairman the present chairman venkai naidu garu was present in the opposition at that point of time and our uh, friend uh, jairam ramesh ji was also there in the ruling dispensation madam the second reason why bjp is denying special category status apart from what i have mentioned above the economic grounds will will have 
to give background of the states such as Orissa and Bihar. And if Andhra Pradesh is given special category status, there are other uh, um, states which are backward and special category status have to be given to them also. We have no objection. We have absolutely no objection if central government is willing to give grant special category status to Orissa and Bihar. But that can't be the reason for not granting special category status to the state of Andhra Pradesh. Madam, did, did the then Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister Manmohan Singh ji, not know that Orissa and uh, Bihar were backward? He knew that they are backward. Despite the fact that he knew that they were backward, still he has assured to special category status to the Andhra Pradesh on the floor of this house, Rajya Sabha. Madam, did he, not the, no, did he not know the situation of Andhra Pradesh after bifurcation? Yes, he knew. The then Prime Minister knew it. The data that existed that day or the data existed to today, it remains the same. There is no difference. The state of Andhra Pradesh is an agrarian state and uh, there is a revenue deficit and uh, which also has not been, uh, which has been assured but not given that, that issue, I will come later, madam. Also mention that new states lost any metropolitan city? No. None of the states. Whereas Andhra Pradesh lost it. Madam. The third reason what BJP is giving for not granting special category status is not there in the act, AP Reorganization Act. It is the mistake of my friend Jairam Ramesh ji for not including that in the, in the, state, in the uh, AP Reorganization Act. Why are, why, are, why, are they, why are they blaming us? And TDP cannot blame us for that. <coughs> and I will further tell madam. In 2000, year 2000, when the bifurcation, illogical, untenable bifurcation made by my, uh, my friend of Andhra Pradesh, I am comparing with that of UP, happened. When it has happened to UP and Uttarakhand has been separated, it is a special category status is not there in the UP Reorganization Act. But BJP has given it. In the case of Andhra Pradesh, in the case of Andhra Pradesh, BJP says that it is, not in the, it is not there in the AP Reorganization Act. In the case of UP, in the, in the, case, in the, case, of, uh, in the case of UP Reorganization Act, even though it was not there in UP Reorganization Act, still BJP has, BJP has granted with the special category status to Uttarakhand. You, madam, we can't have two roles. We can't, no, please we can't speak have from two, your two roles. One for, yes, the, one for the states that are being ruled by BJP and another rule for the, the states which are, uh, which are being governed by non-BJP. Madam, next, next, next point, please. Kindly next, don't make any comments. Let next point, speak. madam. Yes, please. The, the BJP says it is politically not possible. What, see, we are not concerned about the politics. On 26th March 2021, the Honorable Finance Minister, 21, recently, Honorable Finance Minister, Madam, released a manifesto of BJP for Pondicherry when elections were being held in Pondicherry, wherein Madam has declared that if it comes to BJP, comes to power, special category status would be granted to the Union Territory. Where is, where is that? Yes, yes. Special category status for BJP may be a political or electoral issue, but for the state of Andhra Pradesh, it is a, it is a sentimental issue, madam. Madam, next, the, next, the next reason what BJP quotes is special package. Special package, unfortunately, has been accept, accepted by the then uh, Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, the Chandra Babu Naidu Garu. It was totally... No, it was totally unwarranted. But special package does not mean that special category, does not mean special category status. How can you give a number to the huge investment or industrialization that could have happened had the special category status been granted to the state of Andhra Pradesh? It is a blunder that has been committed by earlier state government, madam. The previous chief minister of Andhra Pradesh Chandrababu Naidu Garu committed a blunder 
by accepting package from BJP central government and complicated complicated the fight of special category status for the present state government madam you voted then the madam no, no, the please, next please. the next yeah, issue madam speaking. the BJP is show, showing another reason for not granting special category status 15th Finance Commission report madam central government has said 14th Finance Commission report does not allow AP Andhra Pradesh to have special category status and referred referred to the Godgill committee report in this regard I would like to mention Article 280, subclass 2 of the Constitution of India. It shall be the, the duty of the Commission, Finance Commission, to make recommendation to the President. It, it is not binding on the government. Further, Finance Commission report, I would like to uh, refer to some of the uh, uh, observations in, in verbatim, Madam. This is the report. The report says, some states, some states have requested for grant of special category status. This does not constitute part of the mandate of Finance Commission and remains entirely in the domain of union government, which can take appropriate decision after due considerations. So the, uh, the uh, reason what is being shown by BJP government for not granting special category status on this count is untenable. Madam, the last, the last point, the reason what they are showing, in fact, the Standing Committee on Commerce, even though the BJP government has consistently been denying uh, the special category status, the, the Standing Committee on Commerce, in its report, in its 164th report, this is the report, Madam. I, see, committee is, committee is committee. I may be the chairman, but decisions are taken. Your time is decisions are taken by a majority. The committee therefore recommends a special category status to the grant to shall be granted to the states of Andhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, and Jharkhand for a period of not less than 10 years. This would this would ensure holistic development and economic growth of these states in terms of trade and infrastructure. Madam, so therefore, therefore, I request, I request the on, I request, I request the honourable. Please don't make comments from your side. I, I request the honourable uh, Home Minister, who is present in this August House, to kindly grant special category status to the state of residual status. Amit Shah came only for. Madam, your Madam, time the second is ticking, point. Honorable I, member, please. There is, o there is only one more point. Yeah, only I said two points. One, one point has been addressed. The second point which I would like to address on presidential motion of thanks. You have only two the, minutes. Yes, ma'am. I will conclude it in three minutes. The Telugu people are being punished for overborrowing and mismanagement of finances by previous Telugu Desham Party government yeah, yeah. in Andhra Pradesh. Yeah. What are Madam. You if the central government wants to punish overborrowing for the overborrowing, why not reward us for underborrowings that have been made during YSR government, Congress government? Yeah. During YSR government, there were underborrowings under FRBM Act. Whereas during Chandrababu Naidu Garu government, there were overborrowings. So there are two different governments at different point of time. They would like to punish, BJP government would like to punish us for the over borrowings what they have made and for not giving for not giving due credit for YSR government madam between 2005 2006 financial year and 2013 and 14 financial year there were under borrowings under the frbm act to the extent of 26380 crores whereas during the chandrababu naidu garu's regime between 2014 and 2019 there were over borrowings to that of to the tune of 17,923 crores. So, I request the Honorable Home Minister to kindly consider giving due credit out of the uh, under borrowings uh, that have been, uh, that are there. Honorable Member, kindly conclude. Yes, yes, I'll, I'll conclude it, Madam. Andhra Pradesh is still is maintaining its borrowings. I'll compare, Madam, only one minute. I would like to uh, bring to the notice of Honorable Home Minister. Financial year 2019-20, financial year 
financial year 2019-20 the fiscal deficit of india is 4.6% whereas andhra pradesh government it is only 4.1% in 2020-21 the union government fiscal deficit is 9.2% whereas andhra it is only 5.4% in 2021-22 union government fiscal deficit is 6.9% whereas it is 3.5% in the case of andhra pradesh so in all respects Andhra Pradesh has got the uh, discipline in terms of finances, but only thing lack of lack of support from the central government. They are not Madam. in a position to pay the salaries. That's Madam, the now the honourable president I'm calling has up the next I, theme. concluding paragraph. Please, Madam. please. Honourable okay. president has mentioned that the government is making special efforts for states that are neglected. So uh, AP is one state which is neglected. Kindly uh, do appropriate justice, Madam. While while this may be true for some yes, states it definitely does yes kerala also the definitely does not apply to andhra pradesh yeah, yeah, uh, uh, and do not please do not show any step requesting the central thank government you, thank you, not Redichi. to show any stepmotherly step thank you Redichi, treatment I'm calling up the next to the state of andhra pradesh madam thank you, thank you very much thank, thank you. you thank you thank you vinay